Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Nomad Edition. Today's episode, we're going to have a lot of different things going on in this episode because um, I need to re-prepare myself to enter the four-story finale warehouse because I used a lot of ammo in the last episode exploring this scrap city, uh, killing four different farm bots, and yeah, it, basically that takes a lot of ammo. So uh, I no longer have nearly as much ammo as I used to, so tonight- Oh no, it is getting- it's getting really close to farming time, isn't it? I need to start- where, where's the water? How much- alright, I got full water, I can make a farm tonight. I kinda wanted to travel tonight, though. But, um, so one of the things I wanna do, maybe I won't farm tonight tonight, maybe I'll farm the next night. Because I kinda wanna- I- there's a place I haven't found on my map yet. And that is the hay maze. As much as I've explored all over this map- Oh, we got a hay block coming after us. As much as I have explored all over this map, I have never once come across the maze of hay bales. And I'm assuming that there is one of those on every single map. So I want to search for that and I want to build my farm there tonight. Another thing on the agenda is um, I've made a terrible oversight when it comes to this, the Hank tank here. Now, it is a policy of mine to always bring a toilet with me. I actually have two on me right now. Never forget your toilet when you're going out into the scrap mechanic world. And I cannot believe, given that I am taking my entire base with me at all times, that my mobile RV here doesn't have a toilet built into it. I don't have a bathroom on this thing. How could I not have a bathroom? So that is going to be also on the agenda today. I'm going to build a bathroom for my RV because it just makes sense, okay? It it just makes sense. All right, but first things first, we have some exploring to do. I'm going to travel far and wide across the land and see if I can't find this uh, hay bale maze. I really have no idea where it is. In the, I'm assuming somewhere near the middle. I really don't know, but let's get going. I found it! I was like losing hope for a while. That took me a really long time. I, 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 I had no idea where it was, but I have finally found it. Amazing. All right, so you know what I want? Oh, can I, you might want to, can I drive? No, there's no way I can drive my tank through here. All right, I need to do a, uh, yeah, this is stuck again. This keeps getting jammed in here for some reason. And it totally kills the frame rate when that happens. 
So I'm going to uh, change the degrees to loosen it up a little bit so it is slightly angled away from the body, and hopefully that's going to get rid of the lag. All right, so now, uh, just as an experiment that I know is not going to succeed, let's see what it's like to try to drive the hang tank through here. Okay, so just going to take a turn to the right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this isn't going to work at all. All right, so the only thing about this is um, I can't water my crops in here because... I just, I, I need the hang tank to water the crops. So I am going to have to wait till midnight. So in the meantime, well, let's, let's go in here and let's actually explore the maze a little bit. Let's do the, uh, the toilet method and hop across the top here to the center. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a fail of a jump, wasn't it? All right. Anything in here? I forget if there's actually supposed to be any loot in here or anything like that. I mean, there's just a tree. There doesn't seem to really be anything of note in here. I wonder if uh, when chapter two comes out, if there's actually going to be something about the maze. Maybe a quest will send us here for some reason and there'll be some stuff here. But by the looks of it, uh, I'm not seeing any chests or anything. Nothing really of note. Oh, there's a chest outside the maze. Of course, naturally. Hide the chest outside the maze. They'll never suspect it. All right, carrot and a component kit. So yeah, tonight I'm going to plant all potatoes, just like 60 potatoes or something, however many I can plant. Oh, and speaking of mazes, you know, like catacomby, labyrinthy type things, uh, something related to that, something big related to this is happening later today. Uh, about eight, roughly eight hours from this video's release time. Expect, expect some news. Maybe you know what I'm talking about, maybe you don't know what I'm talking about, but all I'm saying is that uh, eight hours from the time that this video is published, there might be something fun happening. I don't know. Something related to mazes. All right, let's build a bathroom. We need a bathroom to build. Ba bathroom building for bathrooms. It's not going to have a bath. It's, ju it's just going to have a toilet, though, but it'll still be a bathroom. I think they call those a half bath. It's funny that uh, half baths don't even have half of a bath. They just have a to unless don't bathe yourself in a toilet. I mean, I guess a toilet could be like half of a bath, but don't don't do that. So where do I put the toilet? I don't really have any room in here to put a toilet. So I think I'm going to have like an outhouse up here. And I guess it's more of an up house than an outhouse because it's not it, it is kind of out too, but it's out and up and out and up house. I'll call it. Uh, I kind of, I just put these here, but I really kind of feel like a toilet would naturally fit in this cubby area. What if I move them underneath the front? I'm always, I'm a little bit hesitant to put storage stuff up front here, just in case I get annihilated by a farm bot from the front side and it destroys the chests. But even as I say it, I'm still putting the chest there, so I must not care that much, right? All right, so now for the outhouse. Can I make, uh, let's see if I can make a fancy block type for the floor of the outhouse. Carpet, no, carpet does not belong in bathrooms. Carpet will absorb unwanted moisture. <laughs> so is there, oh, here we go, bathroom tile. It costs paint block? Of course it costs paint block. Yeah. I'm not even gonna be able to paint this thing up, but let you know. Let's just keep it going All right, I'll craft as much of this as I can. I can't believe I need paint. Oh wait. Do I have paint on me? I think I have paint on me Um, 36 paint on me. Okay, let's go. We can craft a lot more of that. All right. It's already starting to get dark So I'm going to build a farm over here. Let's start putting down the plots 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Exactly 60 soil plots I'm going to be putting down. And this place seems flat enough. And I got to remember my method now is a long row of three. So let's get it started right here. As long as it's a long flat row, I shouldn't have any issues with watering it. All right, there we go, 60 plots planted, and I have three minutes left before I even need to plant the potatoes. Let's get everything, how many potatoes do I got? I got uh, two, four, six, there we go, 60 potatoes. All right, it's been a long time since we farmed anything, and I think I'm gonna come from the other side because my watering system is on the right side here. All right, this is looking pretty good. Let's extend the watering system, and I think all we're gonna have to do is drive straight, pressing the button. What time is it now? I got about two minutes. All right, let's start. Let's do it. And I got my light there to let me know when I'm going to be lined up. So I think number four. There we go. Number four. All right, the light actually is getting pretty helpful. 
Except when I can't see because of all the water in my face. But I think we did it. Not a single water wasted. That was a perfect rundown. That took, you know, 10 seconds pretty much. All right, so now it's just a waiting game to midnight, another minute and a half, and then I'll just plant all of the potatoes and we should be fine. We should be no problem at all. All right, here it goes in three, two, one. Potato time. I should just be able to do a row of 20 just like this. And there we go. Another row of 20. The six, 60 soil plots works out perfectly for all of these measurements. It's perfectly dividable by three. It's perfectly dividable by 20. So it creates a very nice and easy to manage plot, particularly for my Nomad vehicle. All right, we're all planted up. Now we have 24 hours, which equals 24 minutes uh, to build a bathroom on this thing. So back to, oh i should have all of my tile block crafted now let's check out how many oh my goodness that's way more tile block than i needed why did i make so many i'm gonna have to go get paint to paint up this toilet yeah so this is definitely gonna have a tile in all right how big is a toilet toilet's three by three so let's definitely give it a tile base we're gonna need some lighting and everything i don't think we can make a sink can't we don't have any sinks do we parts oh <gasps> We do have sinks. I can make a sink. I didn't even know this. Oh, I can make toilet paper too. Oh, we definitely need toilet paper. Why can you make all this pointless stuff, but you can't make wedges? I mean, I guess draggable wedges are on the agenda, so I'll be patient, scrap mechanic. I'll be patient. Okay, uh, back to the bathroom. How tall does a bathroom need to be? I feel like it doesn't need to be much taller than that. What is the weight of these blocks? <gasps> Why are they so heavy? They're stone, aren't they? They're just painted stone blocks. They use stone. Dang, I forgot about that. All right, so there's that. Oh, man, this bathroom is actually turning out. Oh, nope, that's... Oh, man, it's not even even. This is a terrible bathroom. I just wanted this to be the inside layer, too. I want the outer layer to be wood. So it looks like wood from the outside, but then you open it up to a nice tile bathroom. So, I mean, I did say it was going to be more of an outhouse, though, but I would like to be able to fit a sink on here without it interfering too much. All right, this is just going to be a really, really crammed bathroom, okay? Bear with me here. I mean, this looks like it's kind of cozy it's like an airplane bathroom you get the sink right next to your face as you're trying to you know do your business all right so if i have the ceiling right there is that gonna mess things up i mean we're kind of okay that's that's not bad we'll extend this by one block so i can also have a door so yeah this is going to be surrounded by wood because i feel like having a tile exterior just it just looks weird all right, this is probably going to make me really top heavy as well and much more likely to flip. But this is on the opposite side from the craft bot, so maybe it'll just even me out a little bit. Um, let's cover the tile down here as well. There we go. All right, and then the door is going to open from here. And I think we should have a tiny little window. Everyone loves windows in their bathrooms, you know. You don't want to feel like you're isolated from the outside world when you're doing your private business. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, I'm gonna need... Our, this controller is free. Oh, how handy. How handy. I need another button. Alright, so we just put that button on the door. We can hook that button up to the toilet seat as well. And then that button will go to that controller, which will rotate this door by 90 degrees. And we can probably speed it up a little bit. Yep, literally just a little bit. Literally a little bit. Little, literally a little. And now we have an actual bathroom. Look at this, it's cozy. It's actually kind of cozy, it's not bad. And I can press the button to close, but it's a slow closing door. You gotta be really patient with your poops. You gotta have patient poops. So that's what it looks like from the inside. When you're doing your business, you got your toilet paper. Um, toilet paper's actually the wrong way. All right, apparently it won't let me put it on the other side. Control the paper is going to be rolling backwards, unfortunately, which is inconvenient for this guy. Unless, hold on, I know I have some pipe pieces. Excuse me, open, please open up, please. Oh, no. Um, there we go. Okay, uh, hold on. No! <laughs> this bathroom does not like uh, letting me up. Okay, this is a problem. This is a, uh, this is a little bit of an issue. I can't get there we go it's it's fine i made it out i wasn't stuck in there forever what was i gonna do oh yeah pipe pieces where are the pipe pieces here's the pipe pieces let me get some of these things okay so now for toilet paper the toilet paper has to be perfect you know 
We just do that, and yeah, that's how everyone knows. Everyone knows that the toilet paper goes over, not under. It goes over. You pull the toilet paper towards yourself. You don't want to be reaching under to get the toilet paper because then when you cut it, it's just going to have all this excess that's going to flop back behind the roll, hanging down towards the ground. Here, you can you can easily cut it right where the roll is and just have that little flap hanging off. It is clearly the superior meth method. All right, so now I got to paint this thing up and how much you want to bet I am all out of paint. Can I make any more paint? Nope, cannot make any more paint. How much time do I got? I still got most of the day left. It is time to do some painting. Do I have an extra beacon? Yes, I do. I'm gonna mark this farm because I'm not confident that I'll know my way back if I go too far. All right, so we got our farm right there. I gotta be honest, the bathroom looks a little bit like a panic room right now. Um, but maybe when we paint it up, it'll look a little bit better. I don't know. Where are the flowers at? I guess I've never been to this part of the map, have I? All right, well, I'm gonna pick some flowers. Oh, there's a lot of flowers right here. How convenient. Are these... Is there a farm bot in these woods? Am I gonna run into a farm bot here? I hope not. I mean, there's definitely hay bots in here. There's a lot of paint flowers as well, but I'm getting increasingly nervous as I go deeper and deeper into the woods because this feels like a farm bot area. Yeah, I saw the hay bot. I do, I'm just... <gasps> there's a farm bot. There's a farm bot. There's a farm bot. I, uh... I have 50 shots on me. That's not enough to kill a farm bot. We are moving on to another resource. Oh, I keep seeing more flowers. I don't know why I'm risking this. I know I'm going to get the attention of a farm bot at some point. Did they do this on purpose? They're like, here's flower zone where the farm bots are. You want paint? Take some risks. Ow. Hey, I'm busy here. Okay, this is it. This is it. Last two flowers. All right, let's head back. Yeah, this should be more than enough to paint the bathroom up. All right, craft some paint, and then while the paint is crafting, I'll make my way back to the farm, which is literally right there. Didn't even really go that far. Wait, is that the four-story? Is that the same four-story warehouse? Is that? Oh, no way. I was right here the whole t Look at this. Look at this. I think that's Scrap City right there. Oh, maybe not. Is that? I think Scrap City is on the other side of this hill. And I went looking for this, uh, this farm maze. I went all the way over there, all the way around over there and circle. I just went in a big circle around the whole map. Look at all these cows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cows in one spot. Wow. Too bad I don't use milk anymore. All right, let's get some of this paint. 30 paint already. That's more than enough. All right. All right. We're doing good. We're doing good with the paint. All right. What should I, what should I paint? I, I just, I feel like I just got to keep with the theme, right? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll do the door a slightly different shade. Uh, maybe I'll do a gray door. How about that? Dang, I just wasted that paint right there. All right, there we go. Gray door. This is a weird one to paint, especially with all the already painted stuff around here. I feel like I should have something on the roof of this to make it look less boring. What can I put on the roof of a bathroom? What belongs on the roof of a bathroom? What can I make? What, can, what do we have for parts? <gasps> I forgot the other most important part of the RV. There's two most important things that I neglected. Oh, this has been bad. All right, hold on. You, you can probably already guess where I'm going with this one. There we go. We got the big suspension there. Let's get this mug from our crafting. All right, where do I put this? I mean, I got to put it like next to the seat, right? All right, here we go. Now, now the Hank tank is reaching its ideal completion. We now have suspension mug. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I just find... <gasps> I found another oil pond. I was testing out the suspension mug. And I literally just came across some more oil. This seems like a better spot. Oh, I'm getting lag again, which tells me that I think despite my best efforts. Why, why is it stuck like this? Why do you do this? I forgot you could break these with a hammer. <laughs> oh, no. All right, it still looks fine. But there's definitely something wrong with those. All right, I gotta get back because we got two minutes till these uh, potatoes are gonna sprout. 
All right, I just wanted to see the suspension mug in action. We already have suspension on our wheels, so it's like, it's a relatively smooth ride, but you know, it's fine. All right, anyway, I was looking for other stuff to put on top of the bathroom. You know what, I'm gonna make a plant. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just make a plant to put up there and I do oh, Are you kidding? Why is a duck so expensive? It takes three beeswax, a glue, a paint, and a wood block. Wait, that is too many ingredients for a duck. I'm gonna make one though. All right, these crops should be sprouting any second now, but I wanted to put a, uh, a plant up here just for the heck of it. And should I put a duck somewhere inside? I don't know. I feel like I, there should be a duck somewhere. We're just, all right, here we go. We're going to have a decorative duck right there. Isn't it a beautiful bath? That really just makes it like home, doesn't it? There's no mirror in this bathroom, but you're nomads. You're, you're, we're alone. Nobody, we don't need to look nice. There we go. Now we're getting our ammo back. All right, yeah, so I'm gonna start picking up the farm, start picking these things up as they uh, begin sprouting, and we should have a ton of ammo before the raid comes. All right, and with 40 seconds to spare, I'm actually gonna do an experiment and leave a single plot down because sometimes they don't group up and sometimes they do, and I'm just gonna see maybe having a single plot down there will uh, increase the likelihood. So now we have a ton of ammo. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up my uh, turret, or not turret really, it's uh, my machine gun. And let's get everything else back in order. Get all my seeds deposited and stuff. All right, 15 seconds left. Uh, get my beacon deposited as well. And I think we're good. Let's go ahead and back up and see if they all congregate around that one exposed soil plot that has nothing on it. Three, two, one. And we are ready for the raid. It's, oh uh, man, is it gonna be a, it's probably oh there we go the haybots are coming from everywhere else this is good this is good yes yes congregate oh that's a lot of haybots i like it everybody congregate this is gonna be fun oh this is gonna be fun they're all right there all right here we go here we go i don't know what view i want Ooh, it's so satisfying every time it is always so it was that it two two run-throughs that was the most effective ram we've ever had on a raid all right let's see how our vacuum pumps do our in host pipes let's see how they do with picking this stuff up now oh look at that it can actually pick up more than one item at a time if they're in proximity all right come on pick up the other stuff too there's still more there come on pick it up pick it up Pick it up, pick up the thing. All right, it did it work? Are they all gone? We did it. We actually did it. Everything was successful. All right, I feel really satisfied. Let's get this last soil plot and kill this greenie that I've uh, already knocked him out a little bit. Get his thing there. And where's the soil plot? There it is. Yes, yeah, 60 seems like the perfect number for my uh, my farming efficiency on this nomad base. I really like how that worked out. All right, so now I actually want to use some of these extra pipe pieces I have to just create some more fun stuff on the, uh, on the, oh, lighting. I didn't put lights in here. I need lights. Yeah, that's what's missing from the bathroom. Oh, this is totally going to ruin getting out of the seat though. I just know it. Okay, no, it doesn't. No, that's fine. It might even help. All right, put the white light in there. That looks decent. That actually looks pretty decent. Let's go ahead and close the door. What's it look like from the outside? Oh, I gotta unpaint. Hold on. Unpaint the window so we can see better. The plant, the plant on top, that really, that really makes it. It really uh, brings it all together. And oh yeah, I almost forgot. I actually got all these pipe pieces for a reason. Um, I wanted to put some piping on. I don't really know what, like, this is even, oh, come on, can I please? I know I can do it. I've done it before. Okay, I can't do it. What if I get up on here? Yeah, parkour. There we go. Yeah, so I wanted to do like, I don't know, just just fancy stuff like this. Just get some of this stuff out of my storage and make it look like it's doing things. I really, I have no idea what, what this means. This is like very, this is not meaningful. Just letting you guys know. I'm just having random, random twisty turny pipes. And there we go. Perfect. Look at that. What does that do? 
No idea. All right, let's do an ammo check. We now have 183 ammo on us, plus full, what is this? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 250 ammo in our machine gun. And I think that makes us pretty well equipped. I mean, we got the suspension mug too. So um, I've been pretty much ready to raid the four-story warehouse for a while now, but you guys just don't want me to end the series. <laughs> That's where I need you guys help in the comments because it's hard to come up with more ideas that aren't going to be game breaking and laggy like, you know, the boat idea was. Although you guys seem to still like that I tried it anyway. But I am going to say uh, we're not making this thing fly because that would be like, dozens and dozens of hours of just grinding component kits if it is even like possible the amount of thrust that this thing is going to need to fly is it's just it's prohibitively expensive of all the suggestions that is one i have to say it's just not gonna happen okay if we couldn't make it float efficiently we're definitely not gonna be able to make it fly in any conceivable manner but if you have other ideas on things you'd like to see happen in the survival uh, world before we finish it, I am looking for those comments. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close the door here and do some of my business. You know, I've been eating a lot of veggie burgers. It kind of sometimes it backs up a little bit. It might take me a little while in here. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next episode, I guess. And uh, keep a lookout eight hours from now. Something else is happening. Well, if you enjoyed this, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel that you can check out on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.